PC gamers do know you from Dragon Age. What was it like stepping into that world for real? I mean, stepping into Dragon Age was amazing. It was an amazing experience. And uh, being able to create a character and have her be playable as well, like that was a dream come true, that project. So uh, I think, you know, obviously uh, it just, I mean, I'm a huge fan of video games. So I get to live in a world where all my video games are deductible, but also I meet people that I fan out over, and they tend to be more the creators of books and, and video games more than the actors and directors that I meet. What are your thoughts as an actress about the strong female protagonist that we have seen for years and years in video games? Um, I mean, I, you know, I think that there, there is a really healthy trend. I mean, I remember The Longest Journey is one of my favorite games uh, I played back in the day. That's an amazing adventure game um, with a really strong female character. And I remember that being very significant for me. Um, as a gamer, my, the games that I tend to gravitate toward the most are either role-playing games where I can create a version of myself in the game or a, a female character. So recently I played Tomb, Tomb Raider. Uh, I played that on the Xbox, but I really, really loved that the, the writing in that story. I thought it was a lot more nuanced and, and took that character that people know from their childhood that was a much different version of, of Lara Croft and females in video games, and it really put a mature, very interesting, introspective, like deep character building behind it, and I really enjoyed the journey with that character. So that's just one that I, I really, really enjoyed. Uh, but I, I do believe that there is a push towards making uh, female characters more prominent and I really appreciate that because as an actor I noticed the opposite trend in Hollywood uh, there's less fem female roles that are out there as far as leads and movies um, so to me I, I feel like almost video games are more progressive because there's a lot more vocal um, advocacy and at the same time over 50% of gamers now are female have you seen that grow since you've been around I mean, yeah, I've been a gamer since I, like I said, I was in my mom's lap, so, um, but it certainly wasn't something that uh, you associate, the average person on the street would associate with gaming, and I think the trend with mobile, uh, mobile coming out with through, you know, obviously Facebook games and all that stuff, sort of an entry point into more women uh, finding it more accessible. To me, even year, for years, I didn't have a console, so just an Xbox controller was complicated to me. Of course, now I'm... You know, I'm pretty good. I, I like to say now I'm pretty good. But that transition, it, I, can, I can understand and empathize with that might be hard if you're not raised on it. And a lot of girls don't necessarily play video games because the culture doesn't encourage them to. So I think it's really cool that we're, we're moving toward a time where, A, a lot of more women are discovering games through like their phone or their social media site. And therefore, that would lead to more, uh, more and more different games that they try, more complicated games uh, on console or wherever. Um, at the same time, like because it's so more prevalent, girls are starting to game earlier. So they're becoming more part of the culture earlier, which will obviously pay off later. I mean, to me, a Friday night is playing a game versus uh, going out. And that's just part of my world. So hopefully that's more and more people.